we know there was uh, basically an architectural designer who outlined the form in which the cave would take. And then uh, for the work that was done to carve out the whole of the inside of this cave, that was another group of people. They had to remove tons of material. So they were not artists as such, but they were excavators. So you had to excavate. And in the excavation, you had to be careful not to excavate too much without leaving enough of the standing rock to support the ceiling. And so you see on the side there uh, a, a column, which looks like it's a column, but these are just what was left from the excavation. Instead of excavating all of it, they left part of it standing, looking like pillars. This is all the living rock. Nothing is added. It's only removed. So everything you see is what's left after the removal of the stone. There's no addition of stonework here. And that is that they left those uh, parts of the wall to make sure it was fully supported and wasn't going to collapse on them. That was a, the work of a trained, we would say an architect, who figured out the issues of maintaining the integrity of the, of the constructed cave. Once you've excavated the main hallway, for example, then you've got these blank walls, and then you bring in these specializ specializers who are specialists in carving. And some must have been, uh, been trained to carve the faces and the heads, others to, to do clothing and folds and pleats, and others to do hands and limbs and arms. And then finally, uh, I think usually feet are very primitive looking that <laughs> the lowest of the low mm -hmm. did the feet. I don't think they assigned the feet ever to a really specialized person because there are not many beautiful feet in Buddhist uh, art of this type. 